So hey, this is Joe Hildreth from MyHeap.com and today I'm with my son Michael and uh, got to replace the uh, power steering pump on my Ford F250 7.3 liter diesel and we thought we'd uh, show it in case anybody else wanted to see it. So Mike, in general, what's this job going to entail? Well, we got to disconnect the battery, we got to take off the alternator and belt, pull the pulley off the pump, and then remove the bracket that holds the alternator and the pump together and then start disconnecting the line and get the pump out of there, swap it, go back together, and bleed it all out, and hope it works. <laughs> okay, so what are you going to start with? Just disconnecting the battery right now and then going to go ahead and hey, disconnect the power from, or the cable from the alternator there and then going to take the belt off. Okay. Okay, so the uh, first thing you're going to do here now is just take the wiring off the uh, alternator. Yep. Try not to lose the nut. So are they all held on with a bolt or just some of the wires? Um, this one's with a little stud on the back of the alternator and a nut. And you got your little harness here. You got to kind of... So they just quick connect plugs? Squeeze it and pull. Gotcha. And then should be a half inch drive. A little spot for a bar to go in. Okay, so this is a this is a pull the tensioner back, right, to release the uh, serpentine belt. Yep. You know, I have a tool for this, but I don't think I ever use it. Okay, so that they release the belt. Yeah, this kind of sucks on these trucks. If you want to swap the belt, you have to pull the radiator hose. Yeah, I noticed that, that the uh, serpentine goes over the radiator hose. That's a little weird. Then next thing, we'll just go ahead and pull the alternator. It's just less weight and gets it out of the way when we pull the bracket out. Okay, it's just, uh, just three bolts on the top that hold it down? Yep. You know what my question is? What's that? Is there a 7.3 that doesn't leak something? No, probably not. I think it's uh, kind of like Corvairs and Harley. So if it's good, it you know it leaks. <laughs> That's my story anyway. If it's good, it leaks. Okay, so there's three bolts on top of the alternator that are removed. That and what size are those, Mike? Thirteen. Number thirteens. Okay. So is there anything, uh, any special tools or anything you got to have for this job? There's one. You gotta have a power steering pump pulley puller. Power steering pump pulley puller. And if you don't have those, you can what? You can rent those from AutoZone or yeah, one of the parts like, stores. Yeah, they're like twenty bucks, thirty bucks. Take, get it, rent it. When you go back, get your money back. Gotcha. All right, so we need a uh, a, a puller, and there it is. There. So how does this little job work, man? All right, so you have these two little. I don't know what you call them, little half moon pieces. Mm -hmm. And they each go on one side of this puller on here. Yeah. And then they go down on the pulley, down in that little slot. Oh, okay. It'll set in there. And then on each side, it's the tricky part, it's trying to hold it all together and get the sleeve over and get it tight. Okay. So your hands might be in the way as we record this a little bit, right? Yeah. So maybe after you get it started, I can sort of get in close so they can see what it looks like. All right, so you just uh, you slap, you put those two little half moon pieces over the notch and sort of adjust the bolt where it's just touching and what you slide the sleeve over the... Yeah, so these gonna go... Over the half moon. Yeah. You run that nut in far enough that you can get that all locked in and together. So this is one of those things that if you had... Uh, if you had uh, three hands, it might be okay. Now you said your sleeve was the sleeve on this uh, kit here is a little bent. You said yeah, kind of hard to pop in there. Yeah, it's not too bad, but yeah. Ah, but you got it, so it's in there, and so now you just uh, you just run the uh, screw into. Yep, you hold a wrench on this one. Uh -huh. Put a ratchet or something on there, and you want to hold this one still. Run this one in, and it'll and pull, pull that the pulley out. Pull the pulley off. Okay. I got a twenty-one and a sixteen. I'm gonna just start twisting this guy down. It's gonna be tight.
Alright, so uh, pulleys off. So show me those uh, little grooves there. Okay, so yeah, there's a little groove on the on the collar, and then those just slide in there, just like that. And then that goes over. Okay, cool bands, man. Oh, right. Tighten up. The pulley's the worst part of the entire job. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what, what do you do next? There's just uh, I see some bolts holding the power steering pump on. Do they come off next, or is it something else first? Uh, we'll probably take these off first, and then have one in here, one here, one here. That might be. And there's another one down here. So four, four bolts that actually hold the bracket to the head and the block. And we'll take oh, okay. those off and pull this whole bracket out. Okay, and then. Uh, Okay, so the uh, power steering pump bolts to that bracket, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you're going to remove the three bolts that hold on the power steering pump. Yep. To get it out of the way, and then you're going to remove the uh, alternator bracket, right? Yeah. Okay, so the bolts of the power steering pump are out, so... Now what do you got about three or four for the uh, bracket? Yeah, four for the bracket. Then we can slide the bracket out. And... Okay, so the fourth bolt's out. Well, sort of. There it is. I'm gonna pull the bracket out of the way. See where the four bolts are? Yep. All right. Okay, so I, I see you got a drain pan underneath the truck there. It's to catch all the power steering fluid. Yep. Okay, so what? now that the uh, bracket's out of the way, what, what, what part do we have to do next? All right, we're going to go ahead and take this return from the hydro boost back to the pump off. There's just this little squeeze clamp and slide the hose off. And once we get that off, we've got a, the power or the pressurized line here. We'll disconnect there and the pump will be coming out. All right. Okay, so now you have the uh, high pressure line. Yep, that's the one we're taking off next. Okay. This one's a little tricky sometimes. Sometimes they get put on too tight and you got to try and hold the pump and rig it loose. Okay, so you got the line off and... It just got just it off. Bought. Okay. There it is. Nope, oh, there's another return line. Uh, so there's a return line on the bottom. Yeah. And it looks like a squeeze. Yeah. I reset my pliers. That's the one that's going to drain. Ah, that's where you put your finger over it and you're good. All right, so the pump's out. That's it. Okay. I'll let it run out now, huh? Oh, yeah. That's uh, pretty nasty looking. Real metallic-y. Yep. See that pump's done? Whining like crazy. Okay, well, we'll get the stuff together uh, to put the new one on. I'll pull these nice little plugs off. Pull this guy out of there. I got one here. And I'll just use pliers. And there. And I don't know if there's still fluid left in this, but if there is, I'm going to dump it. Yeah, it's a little bit. Okay, so, now with the old and in with the new.
Yeah, so we got this little white O-ring that comes in this package. Might be hard to see. You got a white and a black. Yeah, I see them there. Ours takes the white. Definitely does. Let's see this. Okay, so you got to replace the O-ring on the high pressure hose. Yeah. Is that a rubber O-ring or is it plastic? It's a plastic O-ring. Okay. Yeah. We got it on there all the way back. Okay. A little notch it sits in. So like a regular O-ring groove back there? Yeah. Okay. So we'll start with that return line on the bottom. I think it's return. Might be a... Okay, and that one just uh, has a spring clip, right? Yep. We'll just kind of set that there. Add these pliers. This one's always fun to start. Want to get it threaded in there straight? Yeah. Now this doesn't have to really sit in any specific spot when you tighten it because this swivels. So you can just keep it however it's convenient for you to tighten. Just good and snug is all you need. Yeah, it's a compression fitting with an O-ring, isn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. And you got this guy. Slides down on there. Alright, so that's all the hoses, right? Other than the, getting the spring clamp back on. Mm-hmm. There we go. It's on there. Alright, so all three uh, hoses on the uh, bracket, I guess, comes next? Yep. Okay, now that the hoses are on, got to get the bracket back in. Now, that was four bolts. Yep. I like to take one bolt and I get it in place. And fight with the pump while you're doing it. Get one started in. Run it down just a hair. Second bracket bolt in just to at least have one of the angles somewhat correct. Let it hold it there. Everything's still loose, we're gonna work with it though. And then sitting up there. And in theory, third bolt's going to go right in. Now that you got them started, you're just going to start the other two uh, bracket bolts, or yeah. are you going to finish off the bracket? Probably going to finish off the bracket, get it tight, and then tighten the pump into place. That third bolt will fall right into place. Tighten up the bracket. Yep. 
All right, so the bracket's on. Now to tighten up the water pump. I mean the power steering pump. <laughs> That's why my son's doing this job. All right, so the pump's on, now what, the uh, pulley? Yep, I'm gonna put the pulley back on. All right. Okay, so this is uh, basically just a, a screw that screws into the end of the, into the shaft, right? And then, the, yeah, and then... Uh, and it goes into the pump, throws it down. You don't tighten this thing down, you just put it in until it bottoms out. You don't crank this tight. Gotcha. And then... Then that... that then this will press it back it right in. in. Okay. And All right. If you put this in, you'll never be able to get it back out. Jam it in tight. Oh. I'm gonna hold this end and then twist on that end. So. Okay, so with the water pump on, alternator goes back on. Probably one of the easiest alternators to ever replace. Yeah, right. I think it's the second one on this truck. Yeah, well, this truck's pretty old. It's a 2000 Ford F-250. It's got nah, 340 or so thousand miles on it. That's a real problem. Alternator's on, now just to wire it back up.
All right, other than putting fluid in it, we got the belt, hook up the battery. Let's try and bleed some of that air out before we start it. it. Should be ready to rock and roll. Let's see if I can do this one handed. <laughs> You want me to hold this belt? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Got a point to prove. I don't know to who, but I got one. Oh, look at you. Everything looks good there. All right. She taught me that trick. Well, so, hey, Mike, let me ask you this. Um, so we'll, we'll fill it full of fluid, and then how, how do we bleed this? What's the best way to, how do, how do you bleed these things initially? Well, on this, we've always left the cap off, put fluid in it, start it up, hit the bump stop on each side, put pressure on the pump, push the air out. But I think this time we're going to jack it up the front end, get all the weight off the wheels. And just... And then, without starting it, just circulate it back and forth, left and right, and let it push them as much air out as possible before we start it. Maybe okay. try and save on this pump a little bit. All right, well, let's go get the jack. Now we just took the weight off the wheel, jacked it up from the front. Just gonna turn the wheel back and forth from full lock to full lock. Try and let it push some of the air out before we run it. Climb up here and see if this thing's bubbling. Oh yeah. Okay, with the uh, pump partially bled, or mostly bled with, with it uh, up in the air, we're gonna go ahead and hook the uh, battery back up and we'll start it, and while it's still in the air, we'll bleed it some more. All right, so we just pulled the uh, just pulled the jack out. We're gonna check the fluid again, and uh, we'll start it up and cycle her back and forth a few times. And then, other than that, uh, the job should be done. Okay, so uh, we. Running back and full, uh, back and forth a few times, lock to lock, uh, with it running and all the weight on the ground. So I'm gonna take it for a drive and and see if we can get the rest of the uh, air to bleed out. <laughs> 